Okay, going back up to the top now, the next button you see is my profile. So this is where you manage your profile settings and your personal information. So if you click my profile, you can basically see all the details that you gave us when you registered with FreeOuts. So your FreeOuts username, the email address that you've signed up with, you can change your password if you've, you know, you decide you want a new password, you can change it right there. And you can also change your personal details. So say for example, we've moved. We don't live in Newport anymore. Um, now I'm moving to London. So if I click change location, erase this, and I'm writing my new location. So I'm moving to London, I'm gonna update the map. All right, now this map has now been updated to London. I can tell this is the correct place because the star is right on top of the city of London. So if the star is not in the correct place in the map, you need to be more specific in what you put in. So instead of putting in your town, put in your postcode um, because the star goes on top of the town center. So if you want your you know, specific area within your town to be shown on your map, put in your postcode here, press update map, and you'll see the star on top of the specific area that you live in. So once you've got that in the correct place, you need to press use this location. And you can see that here. Now, I also have the option to update the location on all of my live ads to my home location. So if the items that I'm selling are not located in the same place that I'm physically located, I don't want to do that because they're in different cities. So I'm going to leave that as no. If the items that I'm selling are located in my home and I want to now update the location on those items to my new address, I'm going to click yes. And that will update the locations on all of my ads all at once. So you don't have to go into each ad and edit location you know, one at a time. This will do it all for you all at once. So once you've done that, once you've finished updating your profile, make sure you press save changes. And I'll tell you here, your changes have been saved successfully and the location on your live ads has been changed. So if you scroll down, we can see that our location has been updated um, to what we'd like. So if you want to actually check that that actually was saved on your live ads, all you need to do is go back to the top of navigation and press your ads. Scroll down to your ads and you'll see that the location has been updated. So instead of Newport, um, this puppy is now in London and our lamp is now located in London. Okay, the next thing you can do in my free ads is to manage your email alerts. So if you click on email alerts up in the top nav, we'll explain what those are. So basically an email alert is if as a buyer, you're scrolling through the site and you, you know, I'm, I'm redoing my kitchen like I said, so I want to keep an eye on all ads placed in the kitchen section in case I see anything that I might want to buy. So if I'm scrolling through the listings and I find, you know, a particular category that I, you know, I want all the ads in the, say, the fridges category or all the ads in the washers and dryers category to see in my town to make sure that, you know, if an ad is placed something I might be interested in, I'll know about it right away. So if I click to set up an email alert for that ad, I'll see those listed here. So I currently have an email alert for all ads in kitchens in the UK. So anytime somebody posts an ad in the kitchen section anywhere in the country, I will get an email that lets me know. Now, we don't send you, you know, 20 emails a day if, say, there are 20 new ads. We amalgamate those all into one email so you won't get, you know, a whole bunch of emails that just flood your inbox. Instead, at the end of every day, we'll take all those ads that were put in the category that you have the email alert for, we'll put them all together, and we'll email them to you all at once. So then you can go through them and see if there's anything that you may or may not be interested in. So this email alert is currently enabled. So let's say after I'm, re I'm done renovating my kitchen, I have everything I need, so I don't need this email alert anymore. Uh, I can disable it. So just go over here and press disable. And you can now see that it's disabled. Now as long as I don't delete it, I can re-enable it again. So if I say, you know what, no, actually I do need a new table, I forgot, um, so I need to re-enable that so I can enable the email alert again and it's now enabled. So as long as I don't completely delete it, I'll have the option to turn it off and on whenever I like. Um, after my kitchen is completely done, and no, I definitely don't need this anymore. If I like, I can come over here and I can just delete that. Um, and it'll ask you for sure, and if you are, say okay. And now it's gone. So the next thing you can do for my free ads is you can place an ad. So if you go up top here and press place ad, all this is gonna do is take you through the place ad process. This is the same process that we showed you in the very first web tutorial we did on placing an ad. The only thing here is since you're placing the ad from my free ads, since you're already logged in, you don't actually have to log in at the end of placing an ad. So it just cuts out that step for you. Okay, now say after we place all our ads, go back to, my, to your ads. 
And now I would say, you know what? I've sold my antique lamp already. I don't need this on the website anymore. It's been sold. So how do I take it off the site? What you need to do is you need to withdraw that ad. So you find the relevant ad that you'd like to withdraw and press the withdraw button. And now you just need to answer our short exit questionnaire that's just going to give us some information about where you sold your item. So if you sold your ad on free ads, you're going to click, I sold this on free ads. If you sold your ad somewhere else, press sold elsewhere, and then pick the drop-down here and let us know which one of these places that you sold your ad to. Um, whether you sold it on another site, if you sold it privately to a friend or family member, through a newspaper, or a completely different thing altogether. If you didn't actually sell your ad, say I decided not to sell this item, or I actually I donated this item to charity, I didn't want to sell it, and um, let us know if you did any of those things. All right, after you do that, if you'd like to leave us a comment, you can feel free to go ahead and do that. Okay, so this item, we actually we sold this on free ads. So we're going to click, I sold on free ads, and now we're going to withdraw that ad. If you scroll down, you see your ad has been withdrawn, and the only ad that you have live here is, you know, the, the other ads. The only ad that I have here is my Beagle Puppies, because I already sold, and I withdrew my ad from my antique lamp. So if you go over to the left side over here, this is where you can navigate within your ads. So I currently have one live ad. I have one withdrawn ad. And if I want to, I can also place a new ad from here. So if you click on withdrawn ads, scroll down, I can now see the ad that I withdrew right here. Now, if I withdrew this ad because, you know, I say I didn't actually sell this lamp, but I decided, oh, I'm not sure if I want to sell that. I'm going to take that off the site until I decide. And then a week later, I come back and go, yeah, I definitely want to sell that. Now, instead of having to place an ad for this lamp all over again, all I have to do is put this ad live. So if I go over to the right side here and press put live, that ad will now go back on the website. And you can see here that your ad has been put live. And we have zero withdrawn ads, and we have two live ads. Click live ads. Scroll down, and you can see your ad here. So you can withdraw and put an ad live as frequently or as infrequently as you like to, just like you can edit your ad as frequently or as infrequently as you like to. Okay, so that's basically my free ads, which is, like I said, your free ads account dashboard where you can manage everything that you may need to do with your account. Um, we hope you enjoyed our third tutorial on my free ads, and we'll hope to see you next time.